we are going to build a mental pyramid with some physical aspects as well. Hi, I'm Gil Patterson for InsideBaseball.com and we're going to hold such a foundation to finally reach the pinnacle. At the very top of the mental side is being able to execute one pitch at a time. The very bottom that holds everything up is how we are relentless competitors, warriors if you will, who grind it out regardless of score. If it's 10-0 or 1-0, by someone watching you, they cannot tell the difference of the score because of the way you compete, your mental focus. What upholds that from the first start is your ability to repeat your delivery and throw quality strikes. And usually in a pitcher's delivery, he needs rhythm. From there, you're gonna, make, you're gonna throw your fastball in, out, up, and down. You're gonna have the ability to throw first pitch strikes. You're gonna to try to have them force contact. You're gonna make them, if they took the first three pitches, they're gonna grab some bench because you are gonna attack. You're gonna have the ability to pitch in. You're gonna have the ability to go two times in. You're gonna have the ability to go change ups behind an account and expand with breaking balls ahead in the count. You're gonna be a, the complete physical pitcher. You're gonna recognize what hitters are doing and possibly pitch to them accordingly. Now you get to the mental side. So you have nice physical foundation. You're gonna be able to breathe. You've got to be relaxed. It is next to impossible to make pitches when you're tense. I've gotta do this, I've gotta do that. No, you don't. You've gotta be relaxed. You've gotta be relaxed. And usually the biggest help to that is taking a nice, deep, cleansing breath. It allows all the muscles to allow you to have your full physical ability. The next thing is your mental discipline. Control of emotions without regard to any internal or external factor that might distract you from your task at hand, which is for us one simple thing. It is making pitches. Making pitches from pitch one to 10 to 110. That's your job, to be physically strong, to make pitches and mentally not let anything distract you from that next pitch. And that's why it is at the top of the pyramid. We want to stop the wheels from coming off. We need to go back. What's my job? Make a pitch. Once it leaves your hand, you cannot control anything anymore. So again, as we build that pyramid from the physical to the mental, you can become that complete pitcher.